And one of our most strategic partnerships is with Databricks. We are proud of the core innovation that we've done with Databricks. Azure Databricks and Microsoft Fabric are highly interoperable as both products are based on a common open lakehouse architecture. So now I'd like to welcome Scott back on stage and with him, Ali Godsey, co-founder and CEO of Databricks to share more about the incredible work Microsoft and Databricks are doing together. Welcome. Thank you, Arun. Thank you, Ali, for being here. We're very excited about our partnership and all the work we're doing together to help our customers accelerate their data and AI initiatives. Thank you so much, Arun. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, it's so awesome because now we have the same foundation for Fabric and Azure Databricks. So it's all built on this open source project called Delta Lake. So it'll be really seamless to go between these two projects. Awesome. And I think you have some exciting stuff to show us. Yeah, yeah. All super right. excited. Let's take a look. All right. OK, so basically Databricks is a unified platform where you have one copy of the data in Delta, which is now shared, and one place to do governance in Unity Catalog. So let's start here. All right, so um, you can see here, there's a SQL data warehouse here. Um, there is data engineering, ETL for Delta, and machine learning. But let me go over to the catalog here. And this is Unity Catalog. And inside Unity Catalog, you have all your tables. You can actually even federate into other systems. So we have a table that we federated from Snowflake here. You can federate BigQuery or other systems. Um, but what I want to really do is go look at this one table that we have in the system, uh, which is a churn table, OK? So churn features. You can see here, if we click on it, that we have different columns in this table. We have some, some sample data that's sitting in here. Um, there's permissions, so you can set out attribute-based access control. You can look at the lineage, so you can see what are the upstream, downstream uh, tables. You can even see the whole lineage graph here. And what we can do now is, using all this semantic information about lineage metadata, the AI has data intelligence to actually generate the text for what this table does. We can actually click here, and for each of the columns, we can see that uh, it's describing in English what they each do. So we have an English description. This now enables us to do semantic search. So we can go to search, and we can type in English, find information about platform churn. And it now will actually leverage that English-generated data intelligence and give us the table that's important for this. So this is super critical, because it's really, really hard in organizations to um, find the right data. OK, so let's look at here in SQL. Uh, I'm going to actually do some queries here. Show me the number of churned users uh, for premium platform uh, in the past fiscal year. Okay, so it's going to generate SQL for us here, but now it actually understood the data intelligence for these words premium platform um, or fiscal year. So let's run this query. Right, so we got the results. Uh, so actually, it generated a pretty good SQL for us. Um, so um, now what we're going to do um, is use this uh, to do some more uh, intelligence with this. So super exciting. It's awesome to see how you're using uh, you know, AI and some of the <laughs> Azure OpenAI service directly in the experience. That's awesome. Yeah, so let me show you what we can do actually with Azure OpenAI and do some build some RAG chat bot together. So let's start here. OK, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to upload a bunch of PDFs on documentation in Databricks here. Uh, to Unity Catalog volume. It now takes each of these, and it actually creates delta tables from these automatically. So if we go click here um, on the database documentation, we can see that now it has the sample data uploaded. It's actually chunked it. It understands the contents. Uh, and we can actually now say, let's create a vector search database with this. Uh, we give it a name, and we have to then pick a primary key so that the vector search can use and we use an endpoint, and then we use an embedding model. So I'm actually just going to use Azure OpenAI ADA model here, and I'm going to say that continuously update this uh, vector database. Okay, so we can click here. We can see that now the vector database is up and running. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to create uh, an endpoint. So we're going to serve this model. Let's create an LLM using Azure OpenAI chatbot um, and create the serving endpoint. Okay, so it's off now, and it's creating an NLM endpoint that we can call into. And I prepared a notebook here that we can see. This notebook has a chatbot in it, and we can actually ask a question that calls that endpoint now. So how can I publish my Unity Catalog schema to Power BI? 
You can see this hits the endpoint that goes to the vector search, and it answers it. Uh, so this is awesome. This now also gets automatically stored in a delta table. So we can see here all the requests, all the monitoring, and we can easily just push this now to Power BI. So it pushes the data set into Power BI, and we can go here and say, automatically create a report uh, based on the delta table that we have. And we can see here that we can see the toxicity or all the responses that got recorded. So it's really, really tightly integrated now into Power BI. So you can see here, with a few clicks, we were able to build our own chatbot, leverage Azure OpenAI, uh, and get the insights published into Power BI. That's fantastic. I mean, it's, it's awesome to see how, how easy it is to create use Azure Databricks uh, to create a modern Gen AI application on Azure. Yeah, we're super, super excited. We're super excited about doubling down on the partnership uh, and see what we can do together to integrate this even more and more with Fabric. Oh, thank you, Ali. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much, Ali. Thank you. Yeah.